Good morning, we're here with now girl number five. So this is what we're going to do today and it is our stylist girl. She's our pink haired girl so actually I might get down Y collector's version who's got the pink hair because I know some people have been doing photographs of them both together um, sort of as sisters and things like that and it, it does look really cool. It'd be nice to compare the hair quality and things like that. I'm suspecting this is going to hold up really really well next to the collectors because the quality up to now apart from my little girl with her two right hands um the quality has been great to be honest absolutely outstanding and i think on average there's been a very good sort of response from the community and there's going to be a lot of happy children perhaps uh when father christmas brings a few as well although there's going to be quite a few happy adults because i know people have had them bought and sent to father christmas for them for later so i hope i'm not doing too many spoilers here but it is nice to see what you're getting sometimes and it's still exciting when you do actually open your own because i know if i'm buying a new doll i like to see what video are out there to check I'm buying the right thing and it's of the right quality and what to watch out for and things like that so there isn't going to be much of an introduction for this because as I say we're going to just get straight into the box because you can see there's four of the girls sat at the back waiting and this one will be added before we do the final one and it, it's been lovely to do I'm really pleased I don't think I've ever done so many videos in one week because apart from the doll ones I've got a couple of others to do as well so uh, I'll be like oh probably not do any more videos for about a fortnight after this because I'll have done so many but I hope you've enjoyed them if you do enjoy my videos as I've mentioned before please like subscribe and share it makes such a difference to us youtubers and there's a little bell down there somewhere and if you click on that it will give you the notifications when we do do new products new videos things like that so I think we need to get on to opening our stylist and have a look what we've got here so thank you for watching this and I'll see you in a second here she is, our little stylist. Again, as you know, we've said all this before, but yes, includes the Cindy Crafts. And it is the Cindy Stylist Salon playset. So we've got a little bit of information there. We've got a little little chair there. And we've got a little sign. What would that be? I don't know. Oh, no, it's a chest like a beauty chest and things like that. You can see this little drawers and that. On the back, we have our gorgeous artwork. And again, it's shine bright. Uh, the, like I say, the artwork is absolutely stunning. And let's turn it over. So we've got like a little little shop, basically, a salon. So I'm going to just take the scissors to this bit like I did last time because I've learned it doesn't make much difference to that bit anyway. But what does make a difference is this sellotape. This, I'm cutting it, not pulling it, because when I pulled it, it made my paper go a bit funny. So we're going to do it that way. This is one of the smaller ones, so the box is quite easy to get into. We just have a, a little slit of sellotape there. And there should be one on the side. There is, it's just here. I'm using my scissors, as I mentioned now. Maybe not the best idea. Please be careful when you're opening these things. And then it just pulls open. Because this is used as a playset, isn't it? So we don't want it damaged at all. So I'm going to take the girl out first and we'll have a little look at the box now as you see it's got a post box there so this is her salon so somebody's walking along and they go oh look there's my salon and i can pop in we have little light details we have flooring details and then we have the little craft information i've mentioned some of these i would use just as displays but there is things to do on the reverse so we need to see what they are first and it is the chair and the sort of beauty box so I'm not sure. I think for me, I mean, I know my granddaughter would definitely want us to make all that. But for me personally, I quite like that. And as I mentioned, I'd just pop it in there. And then you've got like a two-way diorama, so to speak. She's got all the products up there. She's got nail varnishes, hair products, I presume. I don't know what else she does. That's the back part of the chair. And as I mentioned, it's great because it's not just a case of the printed on one side as a piece of cardboard. It's printed on both sides. So you've got that sort of nice effect there. So I'm going to pop that to one side and have a look. Oh, we've got another mirror. And again, the mirror will probably look a bit scratchy to yourself there. But it has got one of these like covers. To cover, so it's nice and clear from then on. You can see the top of my stand there, can't you? Um, in there, obviously, we have brushes and hair dryers and everything you could imagine. So when she sort of stands in it, she's got her own little beauty parlour. I think I'll definitely leave it like that. I'll just to sort of try and cover that area up 
with something or a table or something that I've probably got out of all sort of the bits and bobs that I've got. I'm just looking at sort of what it looks like through that mirror. Hey, that's my bodge of a uh, tripod system to be able to video is such a nightmare. Right, let's get on to the important bit. This little girl here. Packaging is plastic, but is minimal because at least there's none of the little tie backs. I've done it again. This is the fourth one. And every time I've tried to pull that off without snipping the sellotape, you think I'd learn. Trial and error, I've still not learned. Right, here we go. We are now going to get her out. Just come on out, this is. Here she is. And she is absolutely gorgeous. But let's have a look at her accessories. She's got the little book like everybody else. And as you know, we've got little quizzes, but the first lots of quizzes and activities are to do with this particular doll. Oh, look, give Cindy a new hairstyle. I will be keeping mine sort of in mint condition because I'm getting the dolls as a collector. But I think this is great for kids. And I would let my granddaughter do all this in hers because it's part of it, isn't it? It doesn't matter if a child's drawn inside this. If you are deliberately keeping it as collectors, fair enough, that's a different matter. Um, and we're still waiting to see, where was that page, if there's going to be some outfits soon, which would be great. I think that's hinting that there's going to be, so we'll have to sit and wait for that one, unfortunately. Hair accessories, what have we got? What's that under there? There's a bit of sellotape here, which uh, I don't know whether it's sellotape or just plastic. I won't go into it like that. I hope I've not damaged anything. Oh, it's just... It's just a little elastic band. I have got dozens of those, so I'm not worried if I lose that. But yes, for to tie her hair back, so we better drop that in there. We have some hair clips, as in hair slides, which they're going to be... Oh! They're going to pop out everywhere. Be careful when you're getting them out. They're going to be nice to use. We've got a little bow and a little sort of oval shape and pinks and lilacs. And we've got another bow and a flower. So she's got some hair accessories for when she's doing her styling. Uh, oh, <laughs> these are playing out everywhere. And of course, she needs a little brush and a little mirror to show her client that the hair looks great or that the makeup looks great. So we'll pop them in there as well. So we can get rid of the plastic onto the dog's bed again. I have cleared it all. The dog has been able to lie on her bed, I promise. But yesterday it was just absolutely covered in plastic which i've recycled it all so we don't need to worry about that either so pop a little book to one side and here she is there's a little piece of elastic holding her hair there so i'm gonna let that free hair just as soft as all the others absolutely gorgeous i say no product no it's just the softest i'm presuming nylon it is just so 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 soft she has her blue eyes she has mid pink lips and then she has this little stylist outfit on. I think the apron, yep, it's like a pin of, it is sort of separate outfit. So you've got a separate little t-shirt, little pinafore dress and then the little pinny with obviously she has a pocket. I think that's too big to put in a pocket. It'll pop the mirror in a pocket. So she's got a little pocket there to carry her tools of the trade around. I'm going to check one of the first things I'm going to do with each one now is check that their hands are right. Because if you watch my pony one, you'll know my girl has two right hands. And as I've mentioned before, I don't mind. I'm going to keep her like that. It makes her unusual. It makes her different. So I'm going to keep the two hands. Wrists are stiff like on the others. but So be careful with the first bend. If you can sort of almost hear it. Not crack, but you know, sort of move because it's stiff. But after that, it's not too bad. So be careful with that. Obviously, we have all the articulation of the other girls. And she's got these really cute little sort of pink ballet pumps with little bows on. I like those shoes very much, actually. They are really, really nice. So try not to lose them. And um, we'll pop her down because we're now going to have a look at what her sister is like from the collector range. Now, clearly her sister's done. She's got to be an older sister because she's done quite well in the world. And she's a little bit more luxury there in her clothing and everything. But here she is. So let's have a little look at them. I think maybe the play range has got a slightly chubbier face, I think. Do you think? I don't know. I can't make up my mind on that. The hair is very similar. In fact, it's probably, that's it, that's slightly pinker, but I think it's probably from the same range of hair that they've done. Everything else, I mean, you can definitely say they're sisters. You could almost say they're twins, but I think we're going to say this one's definitely the younger sister. And as I said, this one's done 
fits quite well in the world because she has these gorgeous pearl earrings on and pearl details and bracelet and everything like that and as much as they are similar there are differences we can get sort of head movement with this one we can't with this I know there's a few people going oh I wish I'd not bought the collector's ones now I get that and I understand it because they, they weren't exactly cheap but there is a difference there is a difference the bodies and everything are almost identical the difference are things like we have rooted eyelashes, we have proper earrings, we have jewellery. Our shoes are like proper shoes, you know, made stitched with all the detail. So the detail it is definitely more extreme on the collectors. And it comes in that beautiful box um, and there's lots of little accessories. And it, it is absolutely gorgeous, the collector's version. But there isn't the biggest of differences. She definitely got a slightly wider face, hasn't she? just fractionally that's okay that's not a bad thing i'm just saying that it is different and obviously these girls do not have eyelashes but some of you have actually already rooted them you're very brave i wouldn't dare i, I just i'm just not even gonna go there i really admire you if you are doing it because the heads are quite hard and i know um one of see on facebook or instagram i can't remember they've shown how they've actually taken the head off and shown what it's like inside there and because i think some are going to be rerouting but please be careful don't go just decapitating your dolls there is a way of doing it so if it's something you're wanting to look at either i don't know research perhaps there might be somebody on youtube doing it or perhaps um oh my phone's going again it keeps doing this to me today i'm just going to pause you guys to